President Biden is making big changes to help people who rely on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, benefits. In this video, we'll dive into the details of this exciting development and how it could positively impact your life. First things first, let's talk about the money. You could be eligible to receive up to $4,800 in extra cash without having to jump through hoops or fill out tons of paperwork. This money can be a real game changer, offering much needed support for you and your loved ones, especially during tough times. But who exactly qualifies for this extra money? We'll break it down for you, explaining who's eligible and how you can make sure you get what you deserve. Whether you're a retiree, someone with a disability, or a veteran who served your country, Biden's plan is designed to provide a financial boost to those who need it most. Now, let's talk logistics. How will this money be distributed? Don't worry, it's designed to be as easy and straightforward as possible. We'll walk you through the process so you know exactly what to expect and how to access your funds without any hassle. The Biden White House has made shoring up crucial benefits like Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and Veterans Disability Compensation a top priority. However, partisan gridlock and disagreements over how to fund and regulate these programs have stymied reform efforts for years. That's why this new automatic payment program marking a rare bipartisan compromise is so monumental. After months of intense negotiations between the administration and Democratic, Republican leaders in Congress, a deal was finally struck. So what exactly does this new program entail? Most importantly, it creates a mechanism for getting direct cash payments of up to $4,800 per year into the hands of low-income seniors and those receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSI for the disabled, aged, SSDI for long-term disabilities, or VA Disability Compensation. The funds are intended to supplement these existing benefits to help cover rising costs of basics like food, housing, healthcare and utilities that have outpaced cost-of-living adjustments. Eligibility is based on meeting the respective income and asset requirements for Social Security, SSI, SSDI or VA benefits as of the program start date. For Social Security, SSDI, individual recipients earning less than $25,000 annually, couples earning less than $35,000, will qualify for the full $4,800 payment. Amounts then phase down by $600 for every $1,000 over those income limits before phasing out completely above $42,000 for individuals and $58,000 for couples. For SSI, individual recipients with assets under $2,000, couples under $3,000, get the full $4,800 as they already meet the income criteria. Rules for VA disability payments are similar to Social Security's income limits. The good news is that if you currently receive Social Security, SSI, SSDI or VA payments and meet the income, asset qualifications based on the most recent amounts on file, the process of getting the new cash payments will be automatic no need to fill out additional applications or paperwork. For Social Security, SSDI beneficiaries, the first payment of $1,200 is set to arrive by December 23 road of this year, with subsequent $1,200 payments following quarterly. SSI and VA recipients will receive their first $1,600 payment on January 1, followed by additional $1,600 payments every six months. If your current information at the Social Security Administration or VA is out of date, the agencies will be mailing forms in the coming weeks that must be filled out to confirm 2023 income and asset levels to determine eligibility. Payment amounts may be pro rated for late filers after deadlines. For hassle free payments, Experts recommend verifying and updating your current information online through ssa.gov or va.gov as soon as possible. Troubleshooting resources will also be available for those who may be entitled to payments but don't receive the funds automatically for any reason. So how significant of an impact could this cash infusion have? By the White House's own estimates, this program will put close to $120 billion per year directly into the hands of over 25 million seniors, disabled individuals and veterans. Policy analysts at major think tanks project it will single-handedly reduce poverty among those groups by 35%, lifting 8.9 million people above the federal poverty line. 
For many low-income households relying on these benefits, the extra few thousand dollars annually could mean the difference between painful choices about covering food, rent, medical bills or other necessities. The broader economic impacts of putting this much new spending money into the hands of consumers could also be tremendous. Economists forecast it will supercharge demand, creating over 2 million new jobs in industries like retail, hospitality and services by 2025. The cash payments are essentially serving as an automatic stabilizer to help guard against recession, much like the stimulus checks sent out during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, this program is designed to not be a one-off payment like that, but an ongoing source of support for vulnerable populations. Of course, not everyone is fully on board with the concept. Republican critics in Congress have blasted the projected $120 billion annual price tag, arguing it is fiscal insanity to create a massive new entitlement program at a time when annual budget deficits are already topping $1 trillion. This is just more reckless spending that will bankrupt our nation and saddle future generations with piles of debt, claimed Senator Mike Lee, RUT, where are we supposed to find $120 billion every year when we can barely fund the safety net programs we already have? Concerns have also been raised about the potential for fraud, waste and mismanagement of the payments by the Social Security Administration and Department of Veterans Affairs agencies that have long struggled with bloated bureaucracies and inefficiencies. Critics point to issues like the IRS struggling to distribute pandemic relief payments accurately as a worrying sign of what could go wrong. Why should we just be shoveling billions to these incompetent federal agencies with no real oversight or accountability? Asks Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O. I guarantee a huge chunk of this money will be lost to scammers and fraudsters exploiting the system's vulnerabilities. Some policy experts and advocacy groups have pushed back on those arguments, however, contending that automated payments tied to existing federal data on income, assets lessens fraud risks. They argue funds are much likelier to end up in the right hands versus programs requiring new applications and vetting processes. Others have argued the payment amounts themselves are still too low to have a truly transformative impact on poverty alleviation. With average rent and healthcare costs continuing to skyrocket, they claim an extra $4,800 will provide only temporary relief from financial hardship for most recipients. This is a step in the right direction, but it's really just a band-aid, said Raheem Thompson of the Center for Poverty Solutions. To seriously address senior poverty and disability poverty, we need these payments to be closer to $10,000, $12,000 per year indexed to real cost of living increases. Disability advocates have also criticized the program for solely including recipients of the Social Security and VA disability systems leaving out millions on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Medicaid, housing vouchers and other non-Social Security disability benefits. There are calls to expand the program's eligibility criteria. Despite the criticism from all sides, the White House remains firmly committed to the automatic payment program as is. President Biden and Democratic allies have touted it as fulfilling a core campaign promise to improve financial security and quality of life for seniors, the disabled, and other vulnerable groups. This is the biggest move we've made to support these crucial programs since the Great Society reforms of the 1960, Vice President Harris said in public remarks. It will mean millions of our fellow Americans no longer having to make heartbreaking trade-offs between food, medicine, rent or other essentials. Only time will tell if the program manages to have such transformative impacts once payments begin rolling out in the final months of 2023 and into 2024. But for those who qualify, the extra cash could provide vital assistance during this period of economic uncertainty and inflation strain. Be sure to verify your eligibility for the automatic payments based on the criteria outlined, update any out-of-date information with the appropriate federal agencies, and keep an eye out for those first payments hitting bank accounts before the end of this year. This video guide will be updated with any additional instructions or changes as the rollout continues. While the dollar amounts and projected impacts have garnered much of the attention, there are several other key components and regulations around President Biden's new automatic payments plan that are important for potential recipients to understand. For starters, the legislation approved by Congress specifies that these payments are considered supplemental income they will not count as earnings or assets that could potentially reduce someone's existing benefits through Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, Medicaid, 
SNAP, food stamps or other need-based federal programs. Essentially, it's extra money on top of what you already receive without any clawback effect. However, the automatic payments will still be considered taxable income that must be reported when filing your annual tax return. For many low-income recipients though, standard deductions should cover the amount owed. Those above certain income thresholds may need to make estimated tax payments or have taxes withheld from the payments themselves, similar to a paycheck. There are also unique provisions impacting different recipient groups. For seniors on Medicare, the new payments cannot cause an individual's income to rise above levels that would increase their Medicare premiums or deductibles. The payments are calculated in a way to ensure they remain fully eligible for low-income subsidies and assistance programs.